All right, so what you wanted to do in order to solve the actual issue of the Shopify pending payment issue is the next step. So first of all, what you wanted to do is to guide you through the understanding why payments might be pending and how to resolve this issue effectively. So first of all, understand why payments are pending. First, it's important to understand why an actual payment is pending. The common reason actually include the payment getaway issues and of course the holding or let's say the customer bank delaying authorization or even the Shopify own audit fraud failed to holding the transaction for further reviews. So you can check the status of a payment by going directly inside your actual store of Shopify. I'm going to go here inside my Shopify store into my home section and focus into orders. So here in this section of the administrator clicking on the specific order to build details. So let's say for example this one. So here into the upper side you should see that you have pending payment or something for example the payment getaway. So first of all what you need to do of course is to check the payment getaway settings. If there is a pattern of pending payments, let's say more than one payment uh, pending, that means that we need to solve the actual payment getaway. So for that, let's go directly into the left part that says settings. Then focus directly into payments. Inside the Shopify administrator, what you want to do is to make sure that you have an actual active payment getaway. And if you have an actual payment getaway, you want to ensure that all the information is correct and up to date. Consider the contact in your payment getaway support if the issue persists. So once you make sure that your actual getaway has now been correctly added and there is no issue there, you can focus into communicating with your actual customer. Now communicating is an actual key. If a payment is stuck pending due to the customer related issues, such as the entering and correcting bank information or in service in front, what you want to do is to reach out to the customer. So just click into the actual uh, order, click into the customer, go into the contact information, a polite message explaining the situation and asking them to double check the payment method can resolve many of these issues. Now the next solution that I can give you is to review your Shopify risk analysis. So for the payment flagged by the Shopify anti-fraud system, review the risk analysis report provided by Shopify on the order page. So this can be uh, reported and help you to understand why the transaction has held. If you believe this is a false flag, you can choose and manually capture the payment. But be cautious and this might be exposure for the actual fraud risk. Usually it appears directly inside the actual element of the more actions or hit into edit. In this case, this order has not uh, ready to be edited because it's not been cancelled. So that means that if I wanted to check out the actual fraud section, go directly inside the more section and view the order status page. Here what you can do is to check out the actual status of the order that has been made and what as what are the order details, the billing address, the shipping method and the payment method that the actual customer chose when they decided to make the payment. And lastly, of course, is to resolve the technical issue. If you suspect a technical glitch, sometimes just simply rarely retry up for the transaction or clearly cooks on cache on your device can help. So go directly inside your browser, go into the configuration and clean all your caches, clean your cookies, clean your browsing and try it again. Sign out and then sign in directly into Shopify. Finally, guys, always monitor your orders after resolving payment issues. Keeping in close eye on how payments are processing post resolution can help you cast an average recurring problems quickly. Now, if none of this actually helps you solve your actual issue and you think that this is something different or let's say something specific in your situation, well, the best solution is to contact the actual support of the Shopify. Since we already have an actual active plan, what they can do is to help us to get started directly into the Shopify help center. And they do have everything that can help us directly into the managing store and they can help you live directly, directly into a live chat support. So guys, don't those are a few elements of how you can troubleshoot and fix pending payments issues into Shopify. So by understanding the root causes and knowing how to address them, you can reduce disruptions and keep your business running smoothly, guys. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify solutions. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully we can all see you next time.